Leonardo AI is one of the best generative AI tool for creating mesmerizing AI art and images. Join me today as I guide you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use text to image, image to image, elements to create images with different styles, and use prompt generation to help you create better prompts. You can create amazing images and make money from them. Let's get started. Load Leonardo.ai website. Click on Create an Account button. Log in with your account or sign up with email and password. Complete the info and press Next button. Select what you want to do and press Start using Leonardo. Leonardo gives you 150 free tokens per day. When you create an image, based on the number of images, selected model and selected setting, your tokens are consumed. When you press Upgrade button, you can see prices and descriptions of different plans. Based on your usage you can upgrade your account. In the recent creation part, you can see a gallery of images generated by other users in three categories. Trending, New, and Top. You can like the image. You can open each image, show or copy the prompt, show the model and properties that the image is created with them. By Copy Prompt, you can copy the prompt and use it. By image to image, you can use the image for source input and create a new creation based on it. By remix, the prompt and all image generation settings will copy to your image generation tool, so you can change some parts and create new ones. You can follow other people and see their work. To generate an image, click image generation or press create new image button. In the image generation section, you can change the number of your result images. You can use the alchemy feature for trial. With this feature you can change your image detail. When alchemy is on, you have several styles for your images. Photo Reel is used for generating hyperrealistic photos and like alchemy is a paid in feature and you can use it for trial in the free version. When you use Photo Reel, you can't select model and your style is limited. On a free plan, every image you create are public, and other users can see it. You can change your result resolution. By pressing Show Advanced Settings, you can use Fix Seed Number. Seed Number is a number randomly generated when you ask Leonardo to generate a prompt. You can use this number to help create more images that look similar to the image you already like. You can find Seed Number in Image Generation Info. In fine-tuned model list, each model is trained by some data and can generate images based on training data. You can use some models just with alchemy feature. Press select other model to see all models. You can use a collection of images and create your own model and use it, or you can use favorite or community models. You can click on each model, see the description and some images that are created with this model to better understand which one is best for your work. Press Generate with this model button to use this model for your generation. When alchemy is off, you can use Leonardo style or create your image without using a style. When alchemy is on, you have several options. It's better to use these styles in different generations to better know which one is for what type of generation. In the following sections, I will explain about the elements. Write your prompt. You can get help from other users prompt or use prompt generation that I will explain in following sections. Write clearly, not complicated. By pressing this button you can generate random prompt or you can improve your prompt if it is less than 200 characters. You can add negative prompt, a negative prompt is something you don't want to see in your generation. Using this part can help in better generation. On the Generate button you can see how many tokens will be used for this generation. It changes based on your selected setting, like image number, selected dimension, using or not using alchemy, and selected model. Change your settings and press this button. See the results. You can use this parts to delete, download, remove background, and more. From here you can copy prompt and negative prompt. By pressing the three dots, you can generate with this prompt again, view your image generation info, copy seed number or delete the results.
With each element, you can add a special theme to your image. Each element has a short description, read them and find the best one for your work. You can select one element or select up to four elements to combine. Test different elements to find the right one for your work. By keeping this, you can see the elements that compatible with your selected model. The weight specifies how much these elements affect your generation. Selecting zero value for weight means that this element has no effect on generation. You can turn off the element so it doesn't affect your work, or you can remove it. Let's create previous generation with this element. You can use the seed number of this generation to affect elements in this generation. I want to combine two elements. Change the weights and generate the result. Weight changes can have different results. In Image Guidance tab, you can add the input image and use it for the new generation. Upload your image. From Recent Images section, you can use your uploaded image, previous generations, community, or follower feeds. Select your image. By using higher strength values, your input will affect your results more. You can delete your input here and add another image. This is the input image dimension. For best results, match your output aspect ratio by pressing this button. Write your prompt and change the settings. Press the generate button. I want to test the results with different strength values and see the effect on generation. See the results. A higher strength value is more similar to the source image. From this part you can see the value of the strength that you used for this generation. Prompt generation section can help you make better prompts. Enter your idea. Select the number of prompts you want to create. Press the ID8 button. You can edit each prompt that you want. Change your settings. You can press the generate button to create an image with this prompt. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Share your experience with Leonardo AI in the comments below. Stay with us for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.